morning you guys welcome back to another vlog today is going to be the start of my ramadan prep and the start of my ramadan videos so i apologize to anybody who's watching who feels like i'm currently inappropriate for ramadan at the moment um this is a safe space i'm sorry i am not the best i am not the perfect muslim and i ask god for forgiveness for that because i am not the perfect muslim i am trying every single day um it wasn't until i started recording that i was just like oh i probably shouldn't record this like this but i'm like it's the day before i'm not this is how i would be in my home um this is not my hair we all know that this is my hair which you kind of can't see but um this is not my hair um the rest of my ramadan videos if you watch my previous ramadan videos it's going to be me actually covered up um and honestly i'm trying to show at least amount of face as possible so today is, is the first of uh, first day not the first day it is the day before ramadan and I am about to start prepping my meats. I'm about to start prepping my meals because it is the first Ramadan as a married woman. It's me and Ali's first Ramadan together, actually. Um, so it is very exciting. Also a little bit nerve wracking because me personally, I don't care what I eat. I'm gonna care. Um, <laughs> Sorry, my nose is freaking running but i don't care what i eat i just like to have food and that's it but this ramadan i'm really trying my best to be healthy with the choices of foods that i eat i don't want to just eat the regular comfort foods that foods that i usually break my fast with um we are trying to make sure that we have a lot of protein we still want to be active so we're trying a whole new routine this ramadan so um I stated this in my previous vlog. If you guys have not watched it, please go and watch it. Um, but I stated in my previous vlog that I, that we are going to be doing a Ramadan series on our couple's channel. Um, I am not including anything with me and Ali on this channel. That's even if I'm really able to, like, you know record on this channel to be honest because it's going to be a lot trying to record on the couple channel and here i'm trying to see if i can balance it all i don't think that i can but um what i'm trying to do is basically on these videos if it's mainly if it mainly has to do with me then that is going on my on my channel and if it has to do with us then it's going on the couple channel so we are trying our best here so now let's talk about goals this year that i'm trying to achieve this ramadan i am not the perfect muslim um i am very much a revert <laughs> if you guys have watched my ramadan series and my islamic videos that i have posted i'm not saying islamic but like my religious videos that i have posted and my journey with islam my journey with religion in general I am very much a weaver. I didn't grow up really practicing being a Muslim. So me actually practicing being a Muslim really started at about the age of like 22 maybe, 22, 23, 23, just wrap it up short. Either way, that's when I decided that I was gonna take Islam seriously. And since then I have been a learning Muslim and a, uh, a student of Islam. And I say all that to say that is that for anyone who is watching who is further in their journey than me i ask for grace i ask for for patience and i ask once again just for grace for things that i may not know things that i may not be doing correctly things that i may have shown here and i'm ignorant to if you do want to come to me with advice please come in a way that is with grace um with love um in a way that you feel Allah would be pleased with because I will be more receptive to that information than to be coming to me and um, talking down towards me. So that's all I want to say for that. But um, this, this Ramadan, my goal is to understand what I'm saying. I feel like every Ramadan, I try to re learn a new surah each week. But um, for this Ramadan, I want to really, really 
understand the English translation for every word that I say in my surahs and know exactly what I'm reading because I do feel like knowing what I'm saying helps me become closer to Allah when I'm praying um, and not just having a ritual prayer. Like I know the surah, I've memorized it and I'm saying it, but I have no idea what I'm really saying. Um, except for the parts when I actually sit down and I'm actually making my dua and I'm saying that from my heart in my native language. Um, and then the dua, the duas that I know, that I know the translation of, that I've already practiced. So those are the only really things, things that I really, really know. So I really want to break down the surahs. I started doing it last Ramadan, but I've never really finished. But I am going to be doing it um, this Ramadan. So that's my goal for this Ramadan. And me and Ali's goals will be said on our couple channels. So if you guys want to see that, like I said, check the link down below for our channel to go ahead and look at those videos. Now, oh my god, our video is going to be posting today. I'm scared. Either way, let's get to prepping. I'm also going to be doing a TikTok type of thing. I really wanted it to kind of be on this. So, Jono say, I don't know how I'm about to do this, you guys, because like... I want my video to be on this on this camera um, so you guys are just gonna have to watch my <laughs> my Instagram and my TikToks because I really wanted this videos to be on that so um, or I'll probably try to record some scenes on this for you guys on my phone but I don't know if I want it to be all right so we are starting off with washing our knees I am going to be Making sure that it's all clean. I'm trying to also record for TikTok. Um, so I just decided I'm just going to do it on my phone because I don't have time. I don't have time for this. I don't have time to try to do two things at once. So let's just see how this works. Fingers crossed it works out. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to do this because once I touch this knee, I don't want to touch my phone. So I'm trying to figure out, okay. The first thing... I want it to be washing. I'm going to do the first thing with washing weights. <laughs> So I finally finished prepping my meats and everything. Ugh. My is so annoying sometimes, but I just finished first. Bleh. I just finished prepping my meats. I am now trying to um, clear out, well, not clear out, but like organize my freezer because as much as I want to prep all of it, I don't know if I have the space for it all. I know that I do because it's been sitting in there, but um, I don't I think this expired. I think this expired. No, look at this, but it's so annoying. All right, let me just show you guys how I have it set so far. I'm going to have to set everything else up, but I have my meats in here, and I labeled all of them and put the dates of like when I did this. I should have put it the other way. Grab like this. So I labeled them. Um, and then, so all my meats are going to be at the bottom. These are my onions, so I diced them, and then I also did them like this because I have different ways of making my onions. Depending on which meal I'm making, I like my onions a certain type of way. So I have this here, and then lastly, I have my diced garlic and my chopped um, bell peppers and then I have them in a long way as well because I am going to be making rasta pasta but that all fits right there so now for the rest of the stuff to organize this thing I have right 
Am I gonna put? Yep, I am. Just sorry. I'm trying to like think about everything. Let me close this. So we can reset it. I am about to wash some dishes and clean this area up because I also have to prepare our breakfast meal. So that's the next, I haven't even eaten yet. I just had coffee like not too long ago and that was like at least two hours after I woke up. So I feel like I'm gonna be good this round. Honestly, I think so. I don't have the greatest e eating habits. And that's not something to brag about, but I feel like it's going to help me a lot right now. So I'm about to just clean up and then I'm going to prepare for the breakfast meals, which I'm really excited about because I'm glad that I actually like thought of this because I feel like this Ramadan is going to be a breeze. So fingers crossed. I just started on the breakfast foods. I'm making a reel slash TikTok right now. But we are going to be doing egg muffins. So I am going to cut up some meats to put inside the eggs. I feel like this is a lot of bacon. So I have beef bacon, I have salami, and I have sardines. I know you're probably going to be like, sardines, like what the hell, girl? But if you know, you know. If you don't, then such is life. But I want to make sure that we're eating... Um, a lot of protein this Ramadan, so that's what we're doing. Let's do it. <laughs> it's nothing. scrambled eggs really I like mine sunny side up so I'm just using a cup measure these are not going to be even distribution but such is life Finally done um, prepping all my foods. I just finished finally having my first meal of the day and it is now 5.30. I have to change my times here, but it is now 5.30. So I just now had my first meal of the day at like 10 o'clock. So I think that I am in really good standing for Ramadan, especially if I really prioritize my proteins and eating before I leave the house um, to go to work. I do think that I'll be in a really, really good standing. Um, I don't think that I'm going to be hungry. I don't think I'm going to feel anything. Um, and I really, really am looking forward to like nourishing my body, not with food, but with the word of God and re-strengthening the everyday practices that i want to do which is like going to the gym waking up early like all of those things are things that i wanted to do so i'm just so grateful for ramadan i really do think that ramadan came at a perfect timing <laughs> like literally it came at a time when i need a, a reset i needed a breather i needed to refocus and realign myself with what I truly believe in, what I want for myself. So all of the things that I have to practice with this Ramadan are all things that I wanted to work on. And as much as I was saying, oh my God, I'm going to work on it, I'm going to work on it, I didn't really have the time to. My work schedule wasn't allowing me to do that. And I finally 
was able to change my work schedule. So I'm able to actually, you know, do the things that I need to do while still being productive in all aspects of my life. So I'm really excited for that. I'm just about to um, edit, finish editing my blog that I have from last week and actually sit down. I haven't sat down all day. Um, and then once I finish editing that, I have to do the last prep of the night, which is the, um, they call them Dutch eggs. We call it hamburger. Um, but it is Dutch eggs, so it's going to be, you know, ground beef around an egg. Just in case if, like, we're tired of eating egg and we'd rather one than the other, just so that there's options. Or, like, after we break our fast in the middle of the night, I know that Ali usually stays up during the night. I'm going to go to bed. But um, during the middle of the night, if he wanted to eat something, something quick and still be, like, filling and protein, high protein based, we can eat that. So, tomorrow... After I come home from work, I think I'm gonna like try to mop up a little bit. That's how I'm sweeping now. Because if I don't sweep now, I'm not gonna be able to mop tomorrow. And even if I have to do a little light sweeping because every single day just somehow finds its way into this household. But even if I'm not, if I have to do like a light sweeping, I won't feel like I have to like deep clean anything really. And then I'm super excited for the content that I'm going to be producing because I'm like, I really have a lot of like ideas in my head. So I'm excited for it. I'm excited to sit down and actually write down those ideas. Um, that's going to be a part of my Ramadan Diaries series on Instagram and TikTok. So make sure you guys check those out because you'll be able to see that whole thing. Um, I'm trying to give different type of content on all platforms um just so it's not the same thing everywhere but essentially tiktok and instagram will be very similar they're really the most alike because the contents are pretty much the same thing it's the same concepts on all sides it's just one might just be music while the other one is a voiceover one might be talked through i don't know as of right now, I'm still trying to map out all my content and see what exactly I want to do. But I'm just excited for it. So stay tuned. I'm about to go edit these videos, sit down and rest. And I'll probably talk to you guys a little later on today. But maybe not. Y'all, day one of Ramadan down. We made it. We did it, Joe. We definitely did. I feel like today was not that hard compared to my other years that I have um, fasted. Compared to the other years that I have fasted, and the only thing that I can say is that I did start to have like a slight headache around three, four o'clock. But that just tells me that I need to eat more during this whole time, because I did feel full for a very long time, but then around 12 o'clock-ish or so, I started to get really hungry. So I want to eat more. Um, so I'm about to actually break my fast with an actual meal because I only had dates and some tea. So I'm gonna break my fast with an actual meal and then I'm going to make some Scottish, is it Scottish eggs? Yeah, Scottish eggs, um, which is basically boiled eggs inside of um, ground beef. I'm gonna make that so that way I can have that as well because I really want it to be high protein. I don't want it to be a lot of bread, but I want it to be high protein. So. I want to like probably put like half of a Scottish egg and then do the other egg and then maybe do like a bagel with peanut butter or something like that. I just want it to be a lot of freaking protein and just to fill me up until like I can't breathe. That's what I need <laughs> so that I can stay in my body for a long period of time. But I am so happy day one is down. It was a success. I am about to journal and then probably watch something um i really want to watch something educational but at the same time one of my favorite shows is on and i have been watching educational stuff all day and i love watching um speakers of islam 
Um, some of my favorite speakers is Numan Ali. I hope I'm saying his name right. Numan Ali, if I can remember. I think it's Numan Ali Khan or something like that. But I know for sure it's Numan Ali or Ali Numan. And then Omar Suleiman or Suleiman Omar. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Either way, I love watching their videos because I feel like they have really good um, translations of stories and duas and just really relating it to our everyday lives and breaking down the Quran in a way that is um, easier for me as someone who is still learning so much about my religion. So, yeah, my head is hurting, so I'm kind of like in and out and dazed and stuff so yeah i'm gonna eat i'm gonna come back from here later but i'm gonna eat and then yeah i know my bedtime is on because i've been waking up at four o'clock now so that's also kicking in i'm very very tired so all of that's kicking in so we'll see we'll see what happens i just had to come on here to update you guys because oh my gosh one thing i can say excuse me out of all the things about fasting you get tired okay i just literally just sat here and took a 30 minute nap because i am tired i'm literally exhausted but i have so many things that i have to do i have to finish editing my vlog i'm an hour into this vlog y'all this next vlog is gonna be really really long it's from at least a month ago now but i'm like i need to get it out there i need to just like finish editing it but it's like every day and i come i got something to do like, I'm supposed to be recording right now. I'm supposed to be doing a whole video. I'm supposed to be doing a whole little cute thing. And I just don't have the energy to do it. So I'm going to do it at night time. I don't have the energy to do it right now. So I'm like, let me just edit my video. Because if I do that and then try to edit the video, the video is not going to get edited. So that's what I'm doing. And then I have an hour until it's time for me to break fast. So hopefully I can try to get this whole video done in an hour. One hour later. We did it, Joe. We did it. I did it. It's six thirty. I edited the vlog. It's transcribed. I said it's transcribing. It is sharing. I mean, I worked too much. It's sharing now, and I am about to wash these dishes. Oh my god, I hate washing dishes. Anyways, um, the reason why I be washing my dishes is because my damn dishwasher has a nasty, uh, has a disgusting scent to it. It has a disgusting scent to it, and then it doesn't have a drying function. What type of dishwasher doesn't have a drying function? Tell me. Hmm? What? And ev it's taking everything inside of me because I wanted to actually buy a new dishwasher last year. I've already been in this place for a year now. Can y'all believe it? I made a year like a couple of weeks ago. But, um, yeah, um, no. I wanted to buy a new dishwasher two weeks uh, uh, last year and now that it's been a year that I've been without the dishwasher I'm kind of like I don't need one and I don't want one and every single time I try to clean it I try to do the self like the dishwasher wash or whatever it's this specific like um chemical scent that's in it and I just cannot stand it and it gets on my dishes and I don't want to eat with that it's frustrating me but I'm really trying to figure out how can I get rid of it because I'm also tired of washing dishes I don't want to wash dishes. I want to put my dishes in the, in there. Want wanted to wash and call it a day. But the thing that also annoys me is that it doesn't have a drying it's a drying option. So once it finished washing, I have to remember to open it so that the water can, like can just evaporate out of it, which is also very stupid. Because why the hell would you guys have us in this big ass apartment? Okay, paying all this all this money that y'all got us paying, and y'all don't even have a drying option on the dishwashers. These are the type of things that now I'm aware of that when I move to the next place, I'm literally going to be like, um, hello, can I see your dishwasher? Does it have a drying option? Okay, because my last one did not. That's what I need to know. I need to see your water pressure on all of your sinks. I need to see it. I need, it's, it's bothering me, it's annoying. Where does the sun set? I need to see this place during the daytime and I need to come back and look at it again during the sunset because I need to know how is the light coming into my space. These are things that I need to know because at this point I'm over it. Why are all my lights on? I don't know. Either way. Um, 
Uh, yesterday I went and got some more hand soap. I love Myers. My friend Stassi is actually the one that put me onto this because baby, I used to literally use whatever the hell I, I was just like, oh, well, it's hand soap. It is what it is. But I really, really like this. And you know, it's a aroma therapeutic household products, whatever, whatever. I think it's like natural or something like that. I don't know. Made with plant derived cleaning ingredients, essential oils, olive, olive vera extract, glycerin, and olive oil. So I just love that it really has like the most minimal things that you can put in hand wash or whatever. But I think it's just more natural. I don't know. The, the scent that I like is honeysuckle. There's another one. I can't remember what it is. But I tried, um, I smelled rainwater the other day. Fire. I think I've smelled rainwater before. But I really like rainwater. I feel like rainwater, I want to put it here in the, um, you know, kitchen. Because people be washing their hands here. And then honeysuckle, I feel like it really fits the bathroom. Yeah, like it really fits the bathroom very well. It just gives me bathroom scent. And then I got, um... Another Dove wash, it's a Dove wash. I got another Dove dry spray, deodorant spray. Love this stuff as well because I can put it on my arms and on my clothes. Love that, double protection, love it. Um, yeah, because I don't like to put the roll on anymore. It's just not for me. Sometimes I don't even wear deodorant and yeah, that's just that. And I don't smell, don't get me wrong, I do not smell. This, I feel like honestly, now that I got laser and the fact that I use like glycolic acid and my PFB and everything, my body odor is non-existent. I don't have any body odor. I don't have hair anywhere to hold any body odor. So it's literally just like, if I don't wash my ass, which is never, that's the only way I can smell. But I wash every day, morning and night. So there's no scent coming from anywhere. Unless like I go to the gym or I eat something that has really, really garlic, onion base like the night before, I might be a little bit garlicky because it's coming out of my pores. You get what I'm saying? But you know, a nice little cleaning is gonna get you right. So I don't understand why people smell. I really don't understand why people smell. I feel like it's a, pro it's a problem with your pH levels and you really need to get it in order. I don't understand why you smell. Or go get laser. I keep telling people to get laser, okay? If you're in New York, get laser. Check out Uplift Spa in Harlem. They are amazing, they're so sweet. Honestly, laser has saved my life. It's literally, I'm saying it saved my life for being dramatic. But still, it's like the best thing I've ever freaking experienced in my life. I don't want anything else. <laughs> if it's not laser. If it's not laser, I don't want it. But I'm about to... I feel like every time I be recording these videos, Ali don't be nowhere around. Like, I did my little vlog for, um, that I'm going to post on my TikTok and Instagram, my Ramadan Diaries vlog. And I'm like, yo, Ali was there in the beginning and he's not there at the end. It's like he's always gone in the middle of the day. But he always has things that he has to do after work and stuff. So it's just like, sometimes we miss each other. <laughs> sometimes we miss each other. And it is what it is. But he'll be back soon. And either way, like I said, we're not really posting a lot of relationship stuff on my personal channel. So make sure y'all check out our couple channel. We have a new video out there and our other video is going up next week. So make sure to check that out. Yeah. This is my life. It's time to break fast. You need a date? Because. I'm running behind. <laughs> I have 30 minutes. And my first batch of plantains just not hit here because I sat here and washed the dishes instead of cutting this and putting this down and then washing the dishes after. I did it before. Like an idiot. So now I'm about to make this some um, tea. I have to put a little bit of cold water in here um, because I don't like super hot tea. I want to be able to drink it immediately. I need to get bounce tissue. I still have not gotten bounce tissue. Since the last time I told you guys, I'm going to go get bounce tissue. Like, this is horrible. I don't have to do better. One more batch. One more batch. One more batch. Just how I like it. Hot enough to where I can drink it. 
I mean, hot enough to where it's still tea, but cool enough to where I can still drink it. and thank God for being able to have um, this year being easier Ramadan than usual because Ramadan used to be very difficult for me when I say difficult I mean like I truly used to have so many I used to have so many headaches and just not feeling good during the first week and that was my biggest worry was that I didn't want my first week to feel I didn't want to feel weak I, didn't want that. I feel like the biggest part a big part of Ramadan is um, to show strength and humility and the beauty of Islam and people aren't supposed to see weakness and not even see weakness Islam I mean Ramadan is not about weakness and we are we have a set of rules and a set of guidelines that allows us to not be weak and to not feel the hunger and even if you do feel the hunger you do feel the thirst you fighting with your flesh to know that the reason why you're fasting is for a bigger cause so i just feel like the beauty of it i'm really seeing the beauty of it i'm being able to like not live in the effects of my body such as like headaches and migraines and feeling super weak i am feeling tired but i'm not feeling as weak as i used to feel in my the last couple of Ramadans that I've had, but I feel like I also wasn't preparing myself for it the way that I should have, except for 2020. Year 2020 was the best year ever for Ramadan. Like literally my days were my nights and my nights were my days. Ramadan was amazing, but I'm about to finish this up, do my last prayer. And hopefully I can get some studying in today. I haven't been able to study so far, um, studying my surahs and stuff. And I haven't been able to do that. The first thing, the first one I want to study is um, Al Fatiha. It's the first one that we have to study. First one that I ever learned. I mean, the first one that that's the surah that we have to say when we're praying, and it's the first one that I ever learned. But I don't know what it means. So I know what some of it means, but I want to be able to study it and know it fully. So, like I told you guys before, my goal for this Ramadan is really to learn what I'm saying so I can have meaning. A meaningful connection to the words that I'm reciting as I pray and I don't want to solely rely on the duas that I make at the end of my prayer I want to know the saying of it all I want to feel the emotions that people feel when I see those videos of people in the mosque or if I, I witness people in the mosque like crying or imams crying because they know the meaning and the power behind those words I want to feel that and as much as I do love praying and I have a connection and I feel so much lighter when I leave the prayer mat, I know that the connection that I will have to God is so much closer once I know what I'm actually saying. So super excited for that and hopefully I'll be able to do a little bit of it today, a little bit of studying today. So I'll hop back on here when we start studying. And I know I usually tell you guys like what I've learned. So what I learned today, fun fact, before um Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam may peace be upon him before he so before we had the month of Ramadan and before the Quran was given to um the prophet peace be upon him he also prayed he prayed in the direction of Jerusalem the same way as the Jews he fasted on the same exact days as Jews fasted which is three times a month um and our fasts are very were very very similar and it still is kind of very similar and the reason for our fasts are also very similar um but it wasn't until there was a moment in time that um i don't know the story too well so please forgive me but there are two two sons of abraham one is of ismail and the other is of yaqub Maybe I'm saying it wrong. I don't even want to say this story because I feel like I'm saying it wrong. When I know more of the story, I'll be able to say it. But the there were people who, um, on one side of Abraham's lineage, there were prophets for every year. And then there were thousands of years where his other son did not have any lineage of prophets or any type of prophethood. And um, Abraham did have a foresight stating that there will be a time where there'll be years and years pass by where there'll be no prophet. And when that prophet... That there will be a prophet that comes after years of no prophet. So when there was a huge gap in time, there were a lot of um, people back then um, that knew that once a prophet came, 
prophet, Muhammad, that he was the prophet that Abraham was talking about. But yet there were also some people and some Jews who denied the ways of the, the denied the prophet being who he was, and also rabbis who did not want their people and their did not want their people in their communion to follow the ways of the prophet, and they didn't want to lose their communion. So they started to deter people away from the prophet and say that he was a falsehood. And that's kind of how the separation of Jews and Muslims happened, because in the beginning, we were all as one. We basically, you know, Jews called themselves Muslims as well. That's kind of like how it started, and so it eventually separated. Um, and it kind of all falls around the month of Ramadan. Maybe wrong, maybe not, I don't know. I don't know the story too well, but from what I can remember, that's what it was. And I'm sorry if I did not say the story correctly. If you guys know the story of this, then please leave it down below. But I will also send you, I will also leave a link down below to the reference of the video that I'm talking about. Um, it was from the speaker, Newman Ali. All right, so I am about to get ready to go do one of my clients, but I did it unboxing on, well, actually, let me get this on, on my TikTok, but I'm like, before I post it on TikTok, I have to show you guys what I got. So I was kind of saving them um, because I wanted to show you guys. I have this up here because it was like helping me with light. You guys know, like, you guys need to get reflectors. Like, reflectors just help you. You see how, like, it just lightens everything up compared to... When I don't have a reflector, can you see the difference? You see? You get that. You get the bro. Yeah. Anyways, I just did my last promo video for this. Sarah Breath Arm and Hammer. Outside of the promo, I am a hundred percent getting this toothpaste because it really does keep my breath fresh. I know I keep saying it and probably when people see like ad videos, that's the only reason why I don't like doing like sponsored posts. Because when people see sponsored posts, they think that you're lying. But I wouldn't collab with a brand if I don't believe in what they're saying or I don't believe in the actual product so there are times when I have you know been reached out to for sponsorships like whether it's wigs or whether it's products that I just don't care to promote and I just don't feel like it connects with my audience and I also don't feel like I would ever really use it in real life and it's probably going to sit in the corner and just collect dust I'm not doing it for the money like I want to build integrity i want to build a community that actually trusts what i'm saying so believe me when i say that if there's a sponsored collab nine times out of ten ten times out of ten it is because it's something that i either really really wanted to try and then i end up loving it because if i don't love it i'm gonna try to send it back to the brand or just tell them that i just don't care for it and i don't feel comfortable promoting something that i truly don't believe in or ten times out of ten I always wanted to try it, loved it. I'm sharing it with you guys, and that's just what it is. So if you have never tried the Arm & Hammer Third Breath, go ahead and try it. The collab is not with YouTube, so it, I'm not getting paid to just put, put it here, but I just have it here, and I really wanted to just, like, tell you guys. Like, it's really, 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 really good. I have to do... I, for, I realized that I didn't do, like, a separate video for my giveaway it is still happening y'all it probably already happened because i'm posting it in my haul video which is going up before this video so um yeah either way i realized that i, I didn't do like a separate video so i have to do a little snippet of my haul sorry i have to do a snippet of the giveaway in my haul i got first thing i got is my care of vitamins um, I'm going to leave my code down below if you guys want to use it, but I know some of y'all don't like using codes for, um, y'all don't like using codes when y'all find out that someone is getting like some type of discount or they're benefiting from it in some way, shape or form. And it's just like, why? Why, why not? You know what I mean? Like help me get a coin so I can help you try things or recommend things to you that I truly love. I'm not going to be out here bull bullying you. I want to say bull, bull s bsing you. I'm not going to be sitting here bsing you, but the vitamins that I that I have are keratin, vitamin C, probiotic blend, probiotic uh, plus, magnesium, multivitamin plus iron, and ash ashwang ash waganda. I don't know what that is, but um, you go basically if you don't know about care of like you must be sitting under a rock because it is it's everywhere now. But you take um. 
basically you take a survey and then it tells you it recommends pills to you but i definitely do recommend for you to talk to your doctor like i know for me personally i, I have low iron and i have um low vitamin d and i do stress a lot so all of those things kind of factored into me um having the vitamins that i have now and in conjunction with vitamins that my doctor actually has prescribed for me so now the next thing that we got we got a package from milk makeup oh my gosh what um born out of milk studios a creative hub i didn't know that Am I living under a rock? I used to always, like, I really, in my mind, was really, like, Milk Studios, because I've shot there multiple times for photo shoots. I'm like, Milk Studios and Milk Makeup. I'm like, I wonder, I've, it crossed my mind, like, very faint, like, very quickly, like, if they're correlated. But now that I see this, yeah, I didn't know that Milk Studios basically owns Milk Makeup. Oh, they did a great job at this. What? Born Out of Milk Studios, a creative hub in downtown New York City. Community and self-expression is at the heart of everything we do. We believe beauty isn't about how you create your look. It's about what you do in it and how you live. Hashtag live your look that matters. We're excited to have you join the fam. Thank you. So they sent me their Hydro Grip Primer, which you guys know I love. So good. Um, they sent their Kush Mascara. Never tried it before. Look down into a mirror while you apply to prevent transfer on your lids. Very smart. Their lip and cheek color. I've seen them and I've wanted to try them. So I'm excited that I have those. Oh, pro tip with the Hydro Grip Primer. One to two pumps and let it sit for 60 seconds before applying your base makeup. If you guys didn't know that, I usually let it sit. But, you know, just in case if you didn't. Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. You guys know. You guys know how much I love that freaking setting spray. So I just got a whole here I'm so excited for it let me turn this off because i really don't need this it's not doing nothing for me oh maybe it was doing something for me it actually was doing something for me but um we just got that in here and then joan road beauty jones road beauty sent us a package super excited exciting for that i've opened these already so i kind of know what they are so the first thing that they sent me the brush comes in this um, bag which I really really like I like that it's sustainable I like that it's earth friendly I don't want my chest out I like that it's earth friendly okay but this is how I don't know why I put that back in here but this is how the brush looks I love how neutral the brush is it is a blush brush okay I love a fluffy brush br blush I love a fluffy brush eh, I love a fluffy blush brush it's such a tongue twister so the first thing that they sent, this is a lip gloss. It's a cool gloss. I wonder if it has like a cooling effect to it. So this is the cool gloss. Next is, I think this is the mascara. This is their mascara. I'll show you guys how the wand is. Because I didn't show the wand in my TikTok. Okay, I love the shape of it. I feel like I'm gonna have really good ease when putting it on my eyes. One last thing, and that is their blush. This one is the Berry More Blush. It's a really, really pretty color. Like I told you guys, I opened it for TikTok already. I just love the packaging. It's so cute. Simple, but straightforward. Easy to identify. Look at this blush. You guys know I love a pinky blush. Look at this blush. Ooh, I'm excited. And Loxy Thon, you guys know Loxy Thon loves to send me goodies. I love that. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Loxy Thon, so much. They just recently sent me a package um, of their hair. I think it's their, um, it's a dry shampoo mist. And it has peppermint essential oils in it. I personally don't really use dry shampoo for my natural hair, but I mean, why not? I'm like, maybe when I have like braids and stuff and I'm in between doing, you know, washing my hair, I can put on some dry shampoo mist. I also really love that they have, is it Grail or Braille? I think it's Grail. I, I'm, I'm really, really hard. I think it's Braille. I'm really hard. I'm really horrible at remembering names, but you know, when you are blind, and it has Grail, I mean Braille here for you to be able to read the packaging. I really, really love that about their brand. And I love 
that they incorporate that because I'm actually interested in this. I'm definitely gonna like try this. Normal to oily hair and scalp. That's what this is for. Really pop that there. And then Luxie Tonson has um, more hand cream and more of the body butter, the rich body cream butter. So you guys already know um, the lucky winner of my giveaway is going to be getting these items. I'm going to send you guys some Luxie Tonson. I'm actually going to save this box because I'll just send you guys this box and I'll add some things in it. And that way you'll just have a nice little packaging thing there. Clarence! Y'all, Clarence lip oil. Did I tell yeah, I'll give y'all an update? That lip oil is so good. I need another one. I need all of them. I need everything. I need everything. Because that lip oil, is it's not like any other lip oil that I have because I feel like the other lip oils can kind of be sticky. It is not sticky. It has such a beautiful like color, like light faint color. I just love that it's also just not sticky because I don't like sticky stuff on my lips. It's kind of annoying because my hair gets stuck or clothing would get stuck or it'll get somewhere and then it's just stuck. It messes up your makeup. It's really hard to take off. But they just sent their new moisturizer. This is the Niacinamide Plus C Holy Extract uh, Lines Glue. Bleh. C Holy Extract Glow Boosting Line Smoothing Day Cream. This is, if you guys want to take like a light, a nice little screenshot of it, this is what it's about. Y2K friends, is your skin Y2 not okay? Say hello to the multi-active day cream. I love this. So it smooths lines, refine pores, even tone texture, boosts radiance, reinforce skin's moisture barrier, 24-hour hydration. We love that, okay? We love that. So Dermalogica sent me their new Power Bright Dark Spot Peel. It has 12% AHA and PHA with mandelic acid in it. Um, visibly lifts dark spots in five uses, which I love. Okay. It has like a light, a nice little like photo here showing you guys the light um, how I lighten the spots with flat lighting and then this is on darker skin tones you guys can see there so I'm excited for this because I do have a little bit of discoloration here I don't know if you guys can see it but I have a little bit here from like previous old breakouts so if we can even our tone our skin tone we will do that okay also we got the new Danessa Myrick Groundworks Blooming Romance Palette oh my gosh so if y'all don't already know if y'all don't know if y'all don't know if y'all don't know I, I am a model um, for both the original Groundwork and Blooming Romance and I, I'm just so happy and grateful to be able to work with Danessa, Ryan, Danessa Myrick and her team they are an amazing group of people and it's just so refreshing to be on set and just feel like you're a part of a family and they just want to see you look your best feel your best and I just wish her nothing but greatness when it comes to her company because she is just a light of radiance and the team is such a light of radiance and this palette is freaking amazing I recently used it in one of my videos but look at these colors, y'all. Look at these colors. You can literally use it for eyeshadow, blush, lipstick. Like, it's used for so many different things. And I have a dedicated video that is coming out, but I'm kind of trying to wait until after Ramadan because it kind of, like, shows my hair and everything or whatever, whatever. And I don't want to keep going back and forth between a hijab or whatever. But showing you guys how to use the Groundworks palette, the original Groundworks palette, all over your face and now i can show you guys the original groundworks in collaboration with this so i'm very 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 excited for that yeah so that was the last thing that we got here so now i just kind of kind of i kind of have to clean up and i also have to wash my makeup brushes and stuff so i'm going to do that first because i have to create more content and i want to create more content throughout the week and i also want to prep my um chicken for later on today and my fish i need to defrost my fish so i'm going to take all of that out before i have to leave to go to hair i have one client today but it is a long process so let me just hurry up i was really looking so y'all don't even understand i was really looking for forward to this freaking like whatever this thing is um i mean it kind of looks like it but like at the same time it's not it I was really looking forward to it because I really wanted to like do a video and post it and then like there's so many things that I'm I wanted to do today and I wanted it to be quicker and it took so much longer than expected so I'm like in a mood but like 
it's not really a mood, but I'm in a mood. I'm kind of like down and out because I really put so much thought into like trying to make these from scratch and whatever. And then I'm just like just to find out that I could have easily bought something from Trader Joe's on my way back home and just made the meat and that's it. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> brother, what's that? Ooh, brother, ooh. Ooh, what's that, brother? What's ew. that, brother? Ooh. Pissing me off. It's pissing me off, man. Man. Literally. Man's them. The man them inconsiderate. He's right. The man them inconsiderate. What else? Five star dinner, and then start littering. And if it's a dinner, 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 we want to be thin again. Want to be coming them. This ain't generational wealth. I ain't still get my millions. But it's in a minute, in the minimum. My hair look like mad left and right. All right, y'all. So I just got home and I'm about to hurry up and make some. I'm about to hurry up and make some food, some dinner, because it is now four o'clock. I have like 20 minutes until it's time to pray the other, the Asad prayer, which is the afternoon prayer. And I'm currently behind one prayer, so I have to make it up because I was at work. So I was working and I wasn't able to do it. So I'm like, let me just hurry up and get home, do it, and then I'm able to, because I don't have a freaking prayer mat. I need to get one. I need to get like a traveling prayer mat or something because I'm not comfortable with putting my head on the ground at all. Like, no, okay. <laughs> I'm just not comfortable. There's some people I see do it. Shout out to y'all, but I'm just not comfortable doing it. I'd rather just come home. But I just try to make sure I do it before the next call of prayer comes because I don't want it to be, like we have a whole bunch of food in our, um, what is this called, in our, fridge right now from like my mother-in-law she gave us so much food like literally anytime she's always asking Ali to go and pick up some food for us so she's really been blessing um but I always have cravings like that's just who I am <laughs> like I have cravings whenever I fast and my cravings happen on a daily basis so sometimes I'll make food so like yesterday I attempted to make some damn McGriddles not it the McGriddles did not hit at all so yeah, that was a fail. I ate some this morning and I was like, oh my God, I didn't even put enough um, seasoning on my um, turkey. I'm like, what in the world is this? Like what's happening here? Like I really, it's cause I was Russian. That's really all it was. It's cause I was Russian. If I wasn't Russian, it would have been, it would have came out completely different. But I was already stressed because I was trying to hurry up and finish it because I wanted to pray and I was behind on prayer. It was just so much happening. And honestly, it's what I get. It's, it's just what I get because who told me to make my life so hard? Either way, I'm going to attempt it again, but this time I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and actually get the um, McGriddles that they have. And uh, I said McGriddles, but like the Dutch pancakes that they have there and then um, make the McGriddle again that way. So my mama said to add a little bit of salt. I love the way my mom makes these stuff. So I'm always rocking to my mother on how to make it the way she makes it. Okay, if y'all think that I could cook, my mama, too. Don't play with that lady. Don't play with that lady. My mama be throwing it down. Be throwing down. Okay, if anybody think that I could cook, just know. My mama. I feel like everybody, even my grandmother, my dad's side of the family, like, she throw it down. She throw it down. My arm be throwing down, everybody be throwing down. We just be out here throwing. Zoo in the zoo, you feel me? Right. Uh, Y'all, like, I don't know how many days it's been since the last time that I spoke with you guys, but I haven't spoken to you guys in so long. And I am just gonna wrap up this vlog. I feel like I haven't really done anything. I haven't talked about anything. I haven't really been oh, doing the things that I wanted to do. And I slept on the wrong side yesterday. And I don't know if I popped my shoulder out of its socket or what, but oh my God, my shoulder, my side, 
if I move it the wrong way, it is so painful. And I don't, I don't know like why it's like this, but it just hurts so freaking bad. And I'm just trying to like fight through it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Either, either way. Ooh. I did learn something yesterday. So I want to like put that out there. Um, and yeah, I just I did learn something yesterday. And I may be the last person or I'm the first person. What, what, how do you say it? I may be the last person to ever find this out, but I was today years old, okay, when I found out that the word sodomy actually came from the city of Sodom. I'm sorry. I'm just now finding out the stories of the prophets. I'm just now really learning the stories of the prophets because I feel like the only story that I really know is of the prophet Muhammad and Jesus. And I feel like I need to know the story of all of the prophets in its entirety and read it for myself because, yes, obviously I know about oh Noah. Peace be upon him. Um, that's about it. Like, I know the story of the Ark, Noah and the Ark. That's really it. I don't really know the story of all the, all the prophets. So I was interested in Lot's um, story or the, the in Arabic, it is Lut, Lut, um, L-U-T instead of L-O-T. That's how it is um, pronounced in Arabic. But the story of Lot, peace be upon him. So I was reading about the story of Lot and then I was really trying to read the story of the wife because we always hear the um, the lesson that comes from the wife's death of don't look back and don't, you know, look back at your past life and where you could have been, always look forward or um, when you are trying to cross the line of going to the other side, which is basically doing good and seeking salvation don't look back at the sinful ways and miss that life that you used to live kind of um but the stories of in the biblical version versus in the quran is a little different in the sense of in the quran they already have um when the angels came to visit abraham and then um lot himself they had abraham peace be upon him and lot himself peace be upon him they had already stated that they were going to destroy the city and the only people that they were going to save is Lot's family outside of his wife. So it was already kind of like, she was going to be the one that was going to be, she was gonna die. Like that's just what it was. Like she was, she was meant to die. And not in the sense of like, oh she, and then like I was looking, as I was looking at these because I was looking it up on, online and then I wanna actually go in and actually read the surahs myself so that way I can just read the story for myself. Long story short, what I'm saying is, is that in the Quran, um, Lot's, um, Lot's wife's ending and Lot's wife's death was already decreed upon her and, obviously, and in my mind, I take it as God already knew that she was going to defy her husband and she has been kind of defying her husband and going against him and became the people of Sodom, not technically um, partaking in the actions that they were partaking in, but in the sense of she did not believe wholeheartedly in her heart um, of God and actually repent against it. And it's very similar. They compare it to Noah's Ark. If I'm not interpreting it properly, may I be forgiven for it because to it. She also basically went against her husband because when the angels came to his house, she went and told the city that her husband is housing good looking, handsome men. So the people of the city came to basically torment her husband and that's why they went blind. Okay, so why are you going against your husband, child? You know what I mean? So she was already kind of like, you're gone. And I feel like, and the angels had already told Abraham that she was going to, that was going to be her ending. But we have to understand also that God is the all seeing and all knowing. So he already knew what she was going to do. And maybe if she had did something different, maybe if she didn't look back, maybe if, if in that one moment she had decided to just stay true to her husband and listen to her husband and, and take God and forgive and ask for forgiveness and really, really hone in on her religion and her heart and in her faith and just kept looking forward, she would still be here. Well, let me not say she would still be here, but she would not have had the ending that she had. But God, I feel like God already knew that she was going to do the actions that she did and it was already there and she nothing in her heart made her want to do anything different than what she did. She He already knew she was going to look back. She already, he already knew that she was going to go and tell the people of the city that her husband is housing handsome men who are not from this land. And 
he already knew that she was going to do all of those things. So that's why she was the way it is. And the whole lesson that I feel like I've learned from that is even if you are in close proximity of faith and you are doing all of the things that from the outside looking in, people may think that, oh, you are this holy person. If you do not believe it in your heart and you are not, you're not doing it for yourself and you don't have that relationship and that belief and that faith for yourself, not because you are born into it or because your husband is let's say a um, high leader in the church or whether you're a Christian or a Muslim or your husband is the Imam or whatever the case is or your husband has this high faith and you pray when he prays and you do this if you're only doing it for the sake of other people and for other people to see it and it's not within you you're you're basically a disbeliever you're a believer to the eye you may announce to the world that you are a believer but in your heart of hearts you are not in your heart of hearts you do not believe in the word of god and you do not believe god so i feel like that was a lesson that i learned and i wanted to share with you guys sorry if that was long i'm gonna cut it up a little bit so we could get into it but i am about to create some content it's right now it's 12 o'clock uh, my shoulder hurts really really bad but i'm about to just create some content maybe some makeup stuff or i'm about to just edit content and post it because i kind of want to have a relaxing day today i'm tired of like always being on go and i feel like i'm always on go but i want to i need to edit my videos and stuff to get them out so i can start getting these videos out as well um so y'all can get that all right oh my god katan katanji censor yourself what does that mean? Katanji, censor yourself. There is a plane flying and it has Katanji, censor yourself on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I just seen that fly across here on a plane and I'm confused. Just who spent money doing that? But anyways, yeah, I think I'm just going to have a chill day. My freaking shoulder is on fire and it's really, really killing me. Not on fire, but like it's just really painful. Um, I might do like some faceless content. So we might do like a dusting. I want to do like a cleaning type of thing. So I'm going to record some of my day of me just cleaning the house. And I'll have you guys like, you know, follow along as I do that as well. So I think, yeah, that's most likely what I'm going to do. Some faceless content. Um, but today's going to be the end of this vlog. I know that I didn't really like share a lot with you guys. And I'm sorry. I hope that these next couple of weeks are better <laughs> and the next vlog is going to be like my last two weeks i know usually before i used to do week by week but as you guys know i live in the past basically i'm always putting things out there very late so i'm behind on a lot of content so i'm trying to get those content that content out before i post this so hopefully i can get this out within the next two weeks for these last two weeks of ramadan um and be able to put out my eid video or my vlog um, my vlog that ends like right before Eid have that out on time so that way my Eid video can happen in the middle of Eid that week or the weekend of that as well so fingers crossed fingers crossed fingers crossed but let me get to ending oh